Good morning, everyone. I always want to say good morning, San Francisco. Can you even see me? Oh my God, it's so bright. I know this is very dusty. Like Betty needs another car wash or it's just glistening in the sun. Anyway, I am going to do a YouTube video this week. A person's brakes do not suck. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everyone. I talk about astrology, spirituality, my life. I share vlogs, very real, raw situations. Now look, this week I was like, what am I gonna be doing where I wanna, I've had this idea for a while. So also it's gonna keep me accountable. My goal this week is to go for a cold dip every single day, probably at different times because my schedule will have different times. So essentially it's gonna be six of them because by the time you see this, I'm gonna have to edit it would be great if I do five dips this week. If I get to six and put this in there, I'm gonna be extra happy. Dips, cold dips, cold plunges at the ocean. You guys have seen me probably do this before. I put this in many of my vlogs. It's starting to get colder out now. I have noticed I've been feeling a little under the width. And guess what? Cold plunges are actually really good for your immune system. So everyone out there is like, you're gonna get sick. It is so bad for you. It's like, actually, no, you're just scared of the discomfort. So anyway, I'm actually going to go this morning. It's Monday and I was like, it's the beginning of October. So I'm kind of blocking my time differently today. Um, yesterday, I actually took the day off yesterday, Sunday. It was so nice. Um, and I was like, you know what? How do I want to start my day today? I did my list, like my admin work. And then I was like, okay, hey, well, I want to do this YouTube video. So why don't I start it now? And then I'll go home work on one more project and then go to the gym hopefully see my crush if you guys know you know if you saw my last video you will know but i'm gonna basically share how i'm feeling throughout all the things i really want to share the benefits of cold plunging or doing cold water therapy this ocean water is not nearly as cold as what it will be in a couple months or what like a cold plunge tank would be like so a lot of people are more extreme okay i'm doing this in october but it is kind of like that mid time so i thought it'd be a good good time to do it so i'm gonna take you guys along and tell you the things i'm noticing anything's feeling better um or whatever and so let's go oh my god look at the sun ah, also i did not dress appropriately for this look didn't even bring a change of clothes <laughs> I'll tell you guys in a later vlog the things that you should have, but this is what I have today. Okay, let's go. Tell me how it's this nice on October 3rd at the beach. It's kind of wild. Okay, well, I'm not home now. Got a quick tan. Um, but that was really good. I feel really nice. I feel really good. It's, I like love, especially when you're feeling a little bit inflamed, I feel like cold plunges just like do you justice. I'm like a floating head right now. There was like families there at the beach, which is so cool. Like it's October 3rd, it's a school day. Families that I think are really cool and I hope to be like that when I'm older. It's such a good way to start the day and able to get sun. Like obviously in Canada, like we don't, we honestly do not get a lot of sun. Like. It, that's why I love the summer, but I'm like, I wish it was longer because in BC, there's not a lot. We don't get a lot of sun. And so the ocean and the sun, Pisces rising, Scorpio moon, Aquarius water bearer, you know, it's for me. The ocean and sun is for me. This is also why I go tanning once a week in the winter in the bed, okay? I used to be obsessed, I'm so obsessed now, but I need the warmth. I need the saunas, I need more, like all people who can, I'm like, you know what? I need that, that's for me. And also cold dips, which is what this video is about, is honestly just such a game changer. It feels so good. And it's not that cold right now for, I don't even know how cold it actually is, but it, it wasn't that cold when I went in. Okay, and later when I do my next dip, which will be tomorrow. But anyway, feeling really good today. I'm gonna start my Monday off nice and fresh. Um, it's 11.30, so I'm gonna do some work 
then I'm going to the gym, and I'm also gonna have another coffee. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Guys, it's day two of the dips, and honestly, I've been laying here for over an hour on my bed. Normally, I can just get my... I literally got my bathing suit on. I'm not feeling my best, but I'm just so tired. And normally, I can just get myself up motivated and go, but I honestly... So, we may have to make the decision today that there's no dip today. I know. I know. I'm also highly disappointed in myself, but... Never listen to my body when it's asking for rest. Oh, I am so exhausted. That's how I feel. <sighs> oh. Honestly, I think I'm just going to call it. I don't think I'm going to go, which I'm disappointed in myself. I want to go, but I also just like don't have the energy muster up to go there like i was also gonna go to a yoga class tonight and obviously i'm not going okay i'm making the call we're missing day two we will make up for it this week perhaps there'll be a two-in-one day situation anyway yikes i'm sorry i'm sorry everyone i let me down i let you down but and i know it would feel good but i'm just gonna have a shower and i'm gonna listen to my body and i'm gonna rest so let that be a lesson. Future Courtney, who you're watching this, stop letting yourself burn out. Okay, goodbye. Hi, welcome to day. Um, it's supposed to be day three of four of dips, but I have only gone once. So... <laughs> It's a, uh, you know, we might have to try this experiment another day, but nonetheless, it's a nice day out, so we're here, and the tide is coming. There's the tide. It's a beautiful afternoon. So, yeah, we just did a workout class at Jaybird, which was super nice, and, um, yeah, we're going to do some journaling and go in the ocean kind of disappointed in myself, you know, that I haven't gone the last two days, but it is what it is. We've got today. Okay, I don't have a lot of time to intro this, but this is the last dip and I am with some people. So I got together a crew for this last dip. So you're gonna see parts of them. Maybe I'll ask them some questions about cold dip. We'll see, we'll see how comfortable people are. Lord knows I have a hard time vlogging in public, but it's Friday and we're going for sunset. So beautiful. Okay, I need to finish this vlog. So, you're getting me looking like this because I have not gotten ready yet. And honestly, it is 12 o'clock. Do we see this? This luteal phase is coming. It's currently Thanksgiving weekend. I need to start a new vlog today. And you'll see what's going on in that one. But I wanna tell you about my experience of doing these dips this past week. Obviously I didn't reach my goal of going every day, but I did end up going four times. And last Sunday, I actually went with my friend Veronica and we went to a different place. 
which was really, really cool. And I actually might go there today. So you might see this in a vlog. Now, something that I'm really excited about to share with everyone is that um, I'm t I'm, I am excited about it. There is a ton of hot and cold places in Vancouver and surrounding areas like Squamish. I've talked about Ica Spa, um, Talty, which is like a really cool place here. Talty, I don't know, I've never said it properly. Anyway, the hot and cold things for me is my thing. Like I love it, I love it so much. And the community of the Cold Plunge like crew in Vancouver is growing. So I've been meeting a lot new pe uh, more people and people who are super into what I will say is that obviously I you know I want to be able to go as many times as possible especially before it gets like really really cold and it's more challenging and I am somebody who often does not listen to my body I am known previously in the past for doing hit workouts five times a week go 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 push stop don't listen something i'm learning is like the balance between where i can push and where's the yin factor and, and where i need that in my life and so i'm constantly learning that and playing around with that especially now given my cycle um like trying to move more with my menstrual cycle and um it all depends on what's going on in our lives where the cold therapy i find is helpful and sometimes it's like not what your body needs so that day where I was like just so tired, I couldn't even like get up the energy to drive to the beach. Like normally I can push through those things and I just couldn't. And the fact is that over the last little while, like I have just been feeling like constant roller coaster. My life is like, there's new things coming in. Like, you know, it, it, it just feels like this, like a lot of mashups and I'm meeting a lot of new people and going and doing a lot of new things, which has meant I don't have a lot of downtime, right? And um, this has been something that's been pretty common over the last couple of years in my life, just given what I've been trying to build a business, yada, yada, all the things you guys have heard me say it. So moments like that, where I was actually like, you know what, I'm really tired. Like I'm not gonna push through. That's a win for me. So even though I didn't reach that goal, I'm actually gonna congratulate myself that I, just listened and took the date to not push and not go do that, even though I would have felt good. Um, it is a win for me to listen to my body. So anyway, it also made it great and fun that I had some friends come in and do it with me this week. But honestly, there are so many benefits of cold plunging. A lot of people ask me, oh my God, how do you do that? And I could never do that. And it's like, quite honestly, like you're just scared of the discomfort. People are like, I don't like the cold. Yeah, because it's uncomfortable. You're putting yourself in a position that is uncomfortable and doesn't feel good. And that's why I do it. That's why we have to do it. I was very resistant of it first as well. And I have amazing friends who introduced me to it. Shout out Ariana, you are the first one. Honestly, I there's there's a feeling once you get in there that you're like, it does take your breath away, but you learn to breathe and you learn how to control your breath and you learn to tell your brain that you're actually okay and you're gonna be okay. So it's another way of learning what your body is communicating with you. It's great for your mental health. It's great for your immune system. There's so many benefits when it comes to cold plunging or cold water immersion, whether it's in the shower, whether it's in hot cold therapy there are so many benefits i really hope to talk more about this in the coming months um especially given there are so many cool places that i get to visit because i live here um and some really cool things that i might be bringing forward in terms of offerings or whatever we'll see in the future um with these spaces because i just think that in the wellness space like it's so important and they're such amazing places to visit. So if you are in Vancouver, I know some really fun places. Let me know in the comments below and I will hit you back with these places that you can go visit. But um, yeah, thanks for coming along and go get in some cold water. I'm gonna finish this vlog off here. That's sort of my like ending. I'm really proud of myself for doing this. I went four times. I go four times. I actually only went three times because of that day that I didn't go, but that's okay. That's better than none. So. It. follow me over on instagram i do post my my days i do go for dips over there um and i encourage you to do something uncomfortable see you guys in my next vlog bye don't forget to subscribe Seven,